So tonight we're gonna try and program this Logix Pro traffic uh, environment using the SEO instruction. Um, so SEO is sequence of output and um, we'll put a file number in here. The file number is gonna contain the different um, sequence that we need to go through to control the light so uh, we're gonna start with this green light on then with this green light on this red light's got to be on then we'll cycle through green to amber amber to red both are red on then we'll go back to green here with red stain on there um, let's create this file table here and uh, as you can see we have the different output addresses which are going to be O2 O2 that's the destination we're going to be using and here I've just made a copy of this image so O2 0 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and I've created that here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 with your most significant bit up here and uh, I did the decimal equivalent of this 8 bit word 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, um, decimal equivalent for each bit. So that would be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Um, so, initially, with this green light on and this red light on, we're not going to be worried about this. We're just going to say um, if we have traffic flowing this way, um, then we're going to allow these crosswalks to be on so people can cross there. And uh, with that said, let's start by putting in the lights that we want on. If we have this green light on, then we say we're going to need 027 on for walking. So let's put a one there, and uh, we're not gonna need O two six. We're not gonna need this green light, so we need a zero there. O two five. Not gonna need that amber light, so we put a zero there. We're gonna need the red light on. O two four. Put a one there. 023 we don't want this light on so we're gonna put zero 022 which is your green light we need that on so let's put a one there and then we're not gonna need your amber on your green so zeros okay and that's the decimal equivalent for that <coughs> um I'm doing the decimal equivalent just to make it easy to create this table in um, Logix Pro. Likewise, we're gonna um, for the 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 rest of uh, rest of the table. I'll just go ahead and and um, let's fill in one more, and then I'll uh, pause the video and fill in the rest, so you don't have to be sitting there watching me. So when we have the amber light on here. We still need this crosswalk to be on, so we'll put a one there. We don't need the green on. We don't need this green on, so zero. We don't need this amber on, so zero. We still need the red light to stay on, so we're gonna put a one there. Uh, one, two, three, which is this. We don't need it on, so we need a zero there. And uh, your green light's gonna be off, so zero amber light on so we'll put a one there and your red light is still gonna be off so this is that red light there so that's that and uh, there we have the rest of the table all filled out um, so we're just gonna use the decimal equivalents here 148 146 17 73 41 17 
Right, so it's gonna go through the sequence of um, green here, then it goes to amber, then red, both are red, then goes to green here, while the red staying on here, and amber, and both red, then goes back here. The cycle continues. And uh, in case um, anyone's wondering um, how I get these values here, all I'm doing is multiplying the value in this by this. Right? Um, it's converting from binary to decimal really. So multiplying 0 by 1, adding it to 0 by 2, adding it to 1 by 4, adding it to 0 by 8, adding it to 1 by 16, and so on. And uh, that's the formula up here, if you look at it. Then you can see how I got all those. So let's go over to Logix Pro. I've already um, created the program, but um, we're going to start it out with a timer. Um, for this one, we'll only use one timer, and we'll use the done bit. Whenever the timer is done, then we want to cycle through the sequencer. So the sequencer is 6, the length length of 6. Uh, if we go back over here, you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 different values. Hence, we have a length of 6. Right? If we go into our data table, and we'll scroll down to our N7 there. Let's change this to well, first of all, as you can see, um, one thing to note about the sequence of output is that your N70 or your first um, position is just a startup. So when it rolls through, it will roll through and go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For this one, because the length is 6, it's going to be 5, 6, and then it will start back at number one right so this one only occurs um, on the first scan so it starts up there then it goes here and when it cycles through it comes back to one that's one thing to note about your sequencer so um, for this one I've just put my N70 the same as N71 uh, so it starts with the green light in the north direction starts with the green light here and then, and then it just continues cycling, th cycling through so let's go to decimal um, if I remember seeing these values over here as I said 148 I put it as the startup then it goes through and these values here which is 148, 146, 17, 73, 41, 17 those are coming from right here which will give us this bit pattern that we have in here right because this is the these are the decimal equivalents for each of these yeah. let's put it back to binary and you can see it's the same bit pattern that we had in excel okay um for this, the mask, uh, the mask is if whatever um, bit is set to one, it will pass it through. Right now I have FFF, so it's going to be um, a 16-bit word with all ones passing everything from your N7 file. I could have just used FF and passed just the first eight bits. And for that file that I created, we're going to be passing it passing that to the destination of O2 0 which is of O2 which is O2 is the file the output file that all your um, lights are on so whatever is in N70 will be passed through or N7 file will be passed through to O2 because the length is 6 it's gonna be uh, remember the first one just for the first scan so it's going to be n71 2 
three, four, five, and six, and then it goes back to N71. <coughs> okay, um, so I've created just one timer here. Um, this timer is gonna control um, how long each light is on. Um, I have it a preset of 100 right now so the green light there should stay on for 100 and then before this toggles when it toggles this will count up the position will move up to 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and then back to 0 1 then just say like that um for down here what i've done is created a counter and give it um preset of six so each time each time my 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 counter accumulate accumulation value is zero or it is three because this is gonna be zero or zero one two three four five right so whenever it's zero I want I want to move 100 into my my timer preset so my, my green lights will stay on for 100 um, milliseconds or in this case it's gonna be 10 seconds so it's gonna give it 100 there whenever we're at zero or we're at three so whenever the green lights are supposed to be on whenever we have one or we have four because zero one two three four this means whichever one of the amber lights are supposed to be on then we're going to use that same timer up here because we're using it to pulse through here we'll just um, send 30 or three seconds into the timer preset value and likewise whenever we're at 0 1 2 or we're at 3 4 5 which is the red lights then we'll send 10 into the preset value and whenever our counter um, is done then we go back to we reset the counter and go back to 0 and then just put it back at 100 Okay, so um, let's give this a run. Download that and we'll put it into run mode. Uh, okay, that didn't work out, but uh, I guess um, right off the bat, uh, hopefully our drivers uh, behave properly. So we've downloaded and let's put it into run mode and allow both set of cars to go through. And here you can see the values from our tables. The table that we created there being passed through and the lights are coming on for the, your walk signal whenever you have a green right also you can see your preset time here changing uh, okay so we're 100 for the green light amber light we should be moving to 30 there you go and uh, red light 10 and back to 100 for the green light uh, on the other side um this simulation here sometimes does a little bit of awkward stuff so let's try and speed it up and see what's the scan time and that ladies and gentlemen is uh using your uh, sequence of output thank you